Well, good morning once again, my friends, and welcome to the town of Bainbridge. We are at Coaser Park here on the banks of the Susquehanna River in Lancaster County, and we're going to be doing an interesting hike down the river, uh, heading to a place called the White Cliffs of Kanoi, which is a famous landmark in the area here that has an interesting history. And uh, it's late December, uh, mid-morning, and uh, thanks for joining me on another adventure to check out this cool place in Pennsylvania. Um, let's go see what we see and let's go hit that trail. Kozer Park there is basically an access point to the river. It's a boat launch and there's like a picnic pavilion there, a couple tables, but it's a pretty small place. It's basically a place to park to access this trail, which I believe is an old rail line. It's paved and it looks like it's very popular with bike riders, dog walkers, things like that. It's not really a hiking trail, but uh, it will take us down to the cliffs. Now, in my research for this project, I came across this article from Lancaster County Magazine from May of 2015. I'm going to read you this quick paragraph and it'll give you a lot of information about the history of this place. And it says, first, a little history lesson. In 1846, John Haldeman opened a limestone quarry business, which was taken over by John E. Baker and George Bill Meyer in 1895. In addition to limestone, Dolomite rock was also plentiful. The limestone was used in agricultural applications, while the dolomite aided in the removal of impurities from metal produced by local foundries and in the repair of iron furnaces during World War I. The cliffs are composed of the byproduct from years of operation at the quarry. How long they've existed is anyone's guess. Kanoi Township, C O N O Y, Township had the substances tested and found they do not pose any hazards. The quarry, which is currently owned by the Bainbridge Sportsman Club, is used for scuba diving practice. Now, in addition to the cliffs, which we now know are the deposits from an industrial operation that spanned over a century, there's also the remnants of that industrial operation, some of which can be found along this trail. Um, there was actually a, a town called Billmeyer. At one point had almost a thousand residents. Almost all of them were factory workers. And there's a few structural remnants of that factory operation that hopefully will be visible from the trail here. So that's another thing we're gonna be looking for. Fascinating though, the history of Pennsylvania, how industry is, is really tied and weaved into uh, every, part of, every part of the state really. So a couple other things I found interesting about this place that we'll be arriving at shortly is that it seems to be very popular for wedding photos. Now, probably not in the end of December here, but, uh, you know, in the spring and summer. And also that apparently the cliffs were much higher than what they are now, that they've eroded over time from rain and from the river, which is to be expected when you think about it. One of the things I like about the trail here so far is that there's a lot of these places where you can get quick, short access right to uh, beautiful views of the Susquehanna River. And uh, it's looking really nice out there. A 
another interesting aspect of this region of Pennsylvania along the Susquehanna River, the lower Susquehanna, is that this area was used for hundreds if not thousands of years as a trade route by the Native American people. And in fact, the Kanoi Creek, which you're about to cross over, Kanoi was an Indian name and it referred to the last group of Indian settlers in this region in the early 1700s. So this part of the state is known to contain uh, some rare like Indian um, artifacts can be found, have been found along the river, arrowheads, things like that. And also some hieroglyphics are even have been discovered on some of these islands in the Susquehanna River area. So it's really a fascinating place historically, not just in the past couple hundred years, but the last several thousand. That was the Haldeman house uh, visible from the train tracks there and uh, that was unexpected didn't expect to see that but there's some nice uh, signage along the trail here and some more interesting things to see than just the cliffs themselves so it's a good place for a day trip and a nice easy walk um, you know you could take your kids uh, family it's 1.2 miles from the parking area to the cliffs so it's not a bad walk at all super interesting place here. I'm not going to go any further, but uh, just wanted to show you some of the remnants of, it must have been a giant operation they had here. I mean, huge. I mean, these buildings here along the tracks, they stretch for oh, several football fields. All right, my friends, we have finally arrived at the White Cliffs of Kanoi. Let's check it out. It should be interesting.
another exciting adventure guys what an awesome place here the cliffs of Kanoi named after the famous white cliffs of Dover in England not quite the same thing but still impressive here for Pennsylvania and another example of our industrial past creating what was at once time a blight now a, almost an alien landscape it feels like you're walking on the moon So I'm just going to walk down by the river now and show you what it looks like from down there. We're going to walk through this place one more time. I've been so busy taking drone shots and shots from different angles. This place is the photographer's dream. Now I understand why they do wedding pictures here. This place is so... It's so unique, it's just so cool. The township or the, the county, whoever owns the property here, they've just done an amazing job in keeping this place up and making it accessible. So please be respectful when you come here and leave it clean and in good condition as it is now. Once you make your way underneath the steepest part of the uh, White Cliffs of Kanoi there, you come through what looks like a channel or like a little miniature gully or canyon that divides the, the larger half and then another section. But it looks like water during heavy rain runs off through this area and is continuing the erosion of this place. my friends there you have it the white cliffs of Kanoi on the Susquehanna River here in Lancaster County a local landmark and quite a interesting place with an interesting history um, that spot was really awesome uh, really easy to get to only 1.3 miles from the parking area on a nice smooth path great place to bring some kids for a day trip seen lots of bike riders out even a few older folks walking along on the trail everyone's real friendly um, that place is just a really cool place to film at and uh, I highly recommend you check it out if you're in the area but that's gonna do it for today and I want to thank you for watching and if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below and I appreciate all of you out there and uh, until next time I'll see you on the trail. Gator out.